What's up everybody? I'm here with another video this week that I think can be able to help a lot of you guys. And as you can see from the title, we're gonna be talking about quitting your nine to five job. And as many of you guys know, that decision of being able to quit my nine to five job has propelled me to being able to live that laptop lifestyle. And if you're most likely watching still to this point, you are interested in being able to break that nine to five, get out of those chains of society standards and start living that entrepreneurial lifestyle. And I know firsthand the thoughts and emotions that go through your head whenever you're trying to make that decision of quitting your nine to five job and knowing if that's going to work for you or not. So with that being said, I'm going to be giving you guys the three top reasons that people are afraid to quit their nine to five three solutions to this and even going in depth on my own personal experiences because trust me i've been there and you guys can listen to my exact story right here without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it i need to know everything who in the what in the where i need everything And even though I was able to get out of the nine to five life successfully, I understand the fears that I had whenever I was making this decision. Was it I was going to go work another job that I hated or I could potentially invest completely in myself and I could fail. So with that being said, I'm going to be covering the top three fears that were holding me back from breaking my nine to five job and experiencing the life that I deserve and giving you guys the solutions behind them as well. And to get right into it, the first fear on my list was 100% the fear of judgment. And we all know that there's a stigma behind people who want to get out of the nine to five job, start being an entrepreneur, but not having much money to be able to work with. Well, that was definitely me. And whenever I first started thinking about getting into e-commerce and quitting my nine to five and officially being my own boss, I knew this was a decision that was not going to be the normal and especially a decision that I did not think that my family was going to agree with. Especially when growing up and being taught the same things that I assume most of you guys were taught as well. Go to high school, go to college, get a job and work there until you retire and basically that was it for life. But my only problem with that is when does life come into that? Is it after I go ahead and work 60 years at a job? This is something that was a major fear for me. I wanted to live life now. And when thinking about quitting your nine to five and venturing off from being able to work in society standards, this is when you become hyper aware of other people's opinions, especially when you're trying to be an entrepreneur. And I get it. At this time, I was thinking about everybody's opinions and thinking what they thought of me for quitting my nine to five and not doing what everybody else is doing. And what I did and what I suggest you guys be able to do to get over this fear of judgment is imagining the person who I wanna be. And this made me think of the regret that I would have if I didn't take those steps into being able to be my own boss and being able to live the life that I deserve all because I was so worried about the judgments of other people. And I just knew I did not wanna look back in 20 years and wish I took the steps of being the entrepreneur that I wanted to be. One decision can change your life forever and you can't solely base this decision off of what other people think. Another thing that helped me get over this fear of judgment is how I perceive people who were already entrepreneurs. All I could feel was admiration and respect for those people who carved out a path for themselves to be the entrepreneurs that they wanted to be. And trust me, this thought process was the turning point for me. And I knew that the same type of respect and admiration that I have for people who are already doing their own thing and being entrepreneurs might be the same way that other people will view me if I started taking the steps of being my own boss and trying to be able to live the life that I deserve. And I remember talking to my friends and telling them I was going to quit my job and they were always like, damn bro, I wish I could do the same thing. And this was the exact time that I realized that that judgment that I thought people were going to have of me if I was going to break my nine to five or be my own boss, I was completely wrong. And trust me, there's going to be people all around you that want to take that same leap of faith, but don't know how, but want to be in the same position as you. And you only get one life to live. So it does not make sense to work a job that you absolutely hate, that you might feel unfulfilled in, when there's so many other opportunities out there in life for you. And after all, your job takes up 70%. Yes, you heard it, 70% of your entire life. So what sense does it make to spend 70% of your life doing something that you do not enjoy, that you might hate, all because you're scared of the fear of judgment of others? And that brings me to my second point that I had whenever I was quitting my nine to five, and that was job security. 
Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this is not a real fear that most people have, including myself, especially for the people who are on the fence of quitting the nine to five. Job security is huge. And everybody has responsibilities in life. Either it's kids, it's rent, it's a car payment, whatever this is going to be, this requires money. And without having that job security, you do not have the money to be able to pay for these recurring expenses every month. But I will say when it comes to quitting your nine to five and calculating the risk behind it, without having much control of knowing what your destiny is going to be like or what success you're gonna have with entrepreneurship, this is a huge fear with job security because you don't know if this is gonna work or not. But I will say whenever quitting your nine to five and calculating the risk behind it, this is a very scary moment because you are feeling like you are out of control. You have the fear of being out of control because ultimately these monthly expenses are never gonna go anywhere and you have to have a sustainable income that can cover them. But I've always been the person to analyze the entire situation, seeing what risks are gonna come with it, and of course the solutions to these risks to know if this is going to be worth it or not. But one thing that helped me be able to overcome this was writing down each risk. Like literally grab a pen and paper, write down each risk and write a solution to each risk and start weighing your odds. Each time you write a risk, I mean, every single time you write this risk, you have to write a solution to it as well. So for example, if you write down one of your risks is running out of money whenever you go all in on your entrepreneurship journey after you quit your nine to five. So the solution to this is saving up a certain amount each week or maybe each month so that you could be able to set a certain date on when you wanna be able to leave your nine to five. So by doing this, I felt like I was able to get more control in my life. And then me going into my entrepreneurship journey, I didn't feel like I was going in so blindly. And of course, this isn't going to be the only risk that you have. So my advice to you is write down all of your risk and be able to provide feasible solutions to each and every single one of them. So at the end of the day, if you're not gonna die, starve, or be homeless, you have to evaluate your risk and ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth taking this one risk that I could potentially change my life forever? So the risk and solution list really gave me an understanding that if I wanted to take the steps of being able to quit my nine to five, it was not going to be as bad as I thought it was going to be because I knew the solutions that were gonna come from it. I had more control over the situations that I potentially could have been in than I originally thought. And I knew that I could be able to make certain sacrifices so that my dream could officially come true. Now the third and final fear that initially held me back from going into my entrepreneurship journey was the fear of everything I've done from this point all going to waste. Thinking about the time I spent in college and let alone all the money and debt that I went into, this was an initial fear that I had because why did I just go and spend four years at this college and now I'm not even going to use this degree to my own advantage? It felt hard letting go of the idea of something that I spent so much time and money into. But what felt harder was that I could potentially be doing something that I didn't want to do for the rest of my life. This is something that you seriously have to ask yourself. Yes, even though you invested time and money into something, is it still the best thing for you to be doing or are you just doing it because you feel like you already went into it way too deep? And trust me, I know that we all like to naturally avoid failure. And it's easy to believe if you abandon your original investment, it probably feels like you're just quitting on yourself. And that maybe that we failed at being able to follow through on what we said we were going to do. Trust me, myself, you, everybody hates failure. But the important thing to remember, and somebody has to say it, is that time and energy that you already spent, it's gone forever. And instead of spending more energy and more time into that job that was running me dry, I quit that same effort into myself and start living that life of fulfillment that I was looking for. You can't change the past, the only thing you can do is change the future. And to put it like this, my first year in entrepreneurship, I was able to pay off all of my student loans. And this would have took me years of my nine to five job to be able to do. And again, I was able to accomplish this within the first year. And a quote that I want you guys to take away from this video is the best time to do something was yesterday and the next best time to do something is today. And this quote really stuck out to me because like I was saying, you don't wanna look back in however many years and wish you would've did something that you didn't do. And overall, quitting your nine to five can be very intimidating and scary. And there's a lot of fears more than just the top three that I mentioned. Trust me, I've been there, I've seen it all, and I know that it's gonna come whenever you take that leap of faith. And I've been able to leave my nine to five, start a successful e-commerce business where I'm helping all of you guys start and scale profitable e-commerce businesses. And I'm officially the person that I craved that I wanted to be when I was working my nine to five job. Understand that if this can happen for me, it can 100% happen for you. Remember, one decision and one risk can change your life forever. And I've now been able to help over 70 plus people quit their nine to five job, run a successful profitable e-commerce business, and be that boss that they always wanted to be. 
and I have four spots left in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, so check out the link in my description to go ahead and apply now. And I hope that this video was able to give you all a little bit of insight on how I was able to quit my nine to five, the steps that I took, and how you can be able to overcome your fears of being able to quit your nine to five job and start living that life that you deserve while being your own boss. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. But I'll see you guys on Friday. This is AC, and I'm out. They gon' want a piece when you got it like that. Like Jake said, we gon' spend it, get it right back. Stack that internet money to the site crash. They on